no thinking person could possibly look at the amount of this stuff they were shipping in uh, to some of these communities could possibly be for a proper medical purpose, for therapy, for treating sick people that were in pain. Going after drug companies and distributors accused of contributing to the opioid epidemic. Today, Ohio's chief law enforcement officer spoke out about the state's massive lawsuits against pharmaceutical companies. Attorney General Dave Yost telling News 5 today he wants drug companies to pay up. But now the question is, who should hold pharmaceutical companies accountable? A handful of states, including Ohio, or every city in the country? News 5's Bob Jones spoke with the attorney general. Well, Danita, the state lawsuits were filed by former Attorney General and now Governor Mike DeWine. Those civil trials targeting drug companies could go forward next year. In the meantime, we spoke with the current AG about what's next. I want a good settlement for Ohio. Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost believes drug companies need to be held accountable for contributing to the opioid crisis. Yost says a lawsuit filed in Ross County, but representing all Ohioans, is moving forward and going after drug manufacturers. That's for um, largely deceptive marketing, um, trying to convince doctors that opioids are not addictive. A second suit in Madison County targets drug distributors. It's going to take 25 years to clean this mess up. The National Institute on Drug Abuse found Ohio had the second highest rate of overdose deaths involving opioids in the U.S. in 2017. The money that we need is more money than all of pharma has. Meantime, a federal judge in Cleveland will decide if cities in Northeast Ohio and thousands of others throughout the country can move collectively toward a settlement against drug companies accused of knowingly fueling the crisis. It could bring um, money invested in their treatment programs. It can bring, we're, we're focused not so much on the past damages, we're focused on what we can do moving forward to help this multi-generational epidemic. But Yo sent this letter to the federal judge arguing cities and counties don't have the right to sue on this kind of issue of a statewide concern. He says that's up to the attorney general. We think the, the, those suits should be dismissed, that the state, that the uh, localities uh, interests are represented within the state's claims. Yost worries that dueling or duplicating lawsuits could lead to inconsistent verdicts, with some communities hit hard by the opioid crisis getting less money than others, or worse. What if they end up with nothing, a goose egg? Yost wouldn't discuss the likelihood of the state securing a settlement, but if that happens, the AG says the money would go to the cities throughout Ohio impacted by the crisis. Any settlement that I agree to as the Attorney General is going to make sure that there's money going for services at the local level. Bloomberg reported last week the pharma companies offered states $10 billion to settle. The National Association of Attorney Generals countered with $45 billion. Meantime, it's not clear when that federal judge will rule if local and national cases can join forces for possible settlements. Live in Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.